Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here. Welcome back to another episode of Dwarf Fortress. Now, in our last episode we got a bunch of things done. We even saved some of our workers from their own stupidity by helping them to uh, uncover the stairwell, rebuild the stairs, so they can actually get back out of the basement where they had locked themselves, silly people. But we have some more work that needs doing. So, we're going to start by clearing out this tree that has popped up in our archery range. Evidently we need to pave over that, otherwise it is going to fill up with gunk and we won't be able to use it. So hopefully once someone cuts that down, we'll be able to do that. We're also going to go down to our living level, and we're going to try and build some more things in here. We've got them building currently, so we don't probably have too many of them. But specifically, we're trying to put containers in these messy, messy rooms. We've got a bunch of chests built, and these chests should allow people to store items. So instead of dumping them all over the floor, they'll be able to put them in the chest, and that way they should be a little bit happier. I'm not sure exactly how this works, because I've never really tried building chests in the bedrooms like this, but we'll experiment with it and see. Now, I'm sure people aren't too happy about having all those stone detailers running around in their rooms, like that one there has, uh, no, not beds. Ah, build container, thank you. This room here has two stone detailers in that guy's bedroom. He's probably not too, super happy about that, but you know what? He'll have to live to deal with it. It'll make his room much nicer in the long run. So we'll stick some chests in here. We'll have to come back and do some more later. But for now, this will get things underway. And I think... Oh, that's not where I want that at all. I'll have to change that one in a second. A silly placement for it. Chests. And I'll place another one down here. I think this is the last one. Yeah. So now I need to come over here, cancel this construction, because it's in the wrong place. So remove building, and we'll come back to the build menu to H, find the chest again, and build it where I want it, which is next to the bed instead of diagonal. There we go. So that should get that done. But unfortunately, I think I also need to actually make sure some of these beds are... Yeah, there we go. They're not bedrooms officially yet. So all I have to do is hit R on them, then enter. Since they have the doors on them, they're already appropriately sized, which makes it nice and easy to do. But we do need to do it, and I'm not sure how many beds need to be changed. The thing here, though, is that once we make them a bedroom, we shouldn't need to bother assigning them to anyone because people should come and take the bedrooms for themselves anyway, especially since we have so many people who currently don't have a bedroom, as far as I can tell. So this should sort itself out once we turn them into bedrooms. People should just come and claim them, and we shouldn't have to deal with anything else about it. And that would be nice. I'd definitely like to have things like this just be done with without us having to micromanage them quite so much. Things like the noble beds I'm totally okay with specifically giving because we want them to be in those rooms. But for all of these beds, I don't really care who sleeps where, so they can pick what they want. Plus this way I won't have a problem of assigning beds to people who are married so they won't have two beds assigned to them or what have you. That way that won't be a problem. Awesome, so that'll be that. Now we're also going to check down the basement. We have some interesting things going on down here too. We're currently trying to build a training room down here. It has got a couple cages in it right now. This guy's bringing another one down right at the moment. And we're also going to try and put some traps in here, which will allow, well, livers in here, which will allow us to remotely open the cages. So the idea is we'll bring our soldiers in here. We will close the door behind them using this uh, lever here to lock the door. And then we can open the cages. They can fight people in peace because these guys have no gear on anyway. And then we should be pretty well equipped here. So that'll be awesome. We'll be able to train our new soldiers up a little bit quicker. But I do have to say, for some reason, I have a very bad feeling about uh, about what might be coming on soon. Build this floor while I'm talking about it. But yeah, I have I've got this unsettling feeling that we're going to get attacked today. I don't know where or by what, or even if we're going to really. But I have a a sneaking suspicion that we're probably going to get hit by something. So, I'm going to try, I think, to maybe even preempt the attack. I might get my military dwarves together, all four of my current squads, and just go out looking for people. I have never tried this before, so I have no idea what it's going to do, but it could be kind of fun to see what happens if we just try and explore the map and see what we find. Let's build that out of Orthoclays. There. There we go. But yeah, we might just get our military together and go looking for things to fight, because I have a feeling, the strangest feeling, there's something on the map right now that's hiding from us that wants to murder us, because we haven't had an ambush in ages. So I have, I can't help but think that we may have that going on. Also, what I may also do is run downstairs. Since I have this feeling we're going to get attacked, I might try and make sure no one gets hurt if we do get attacked. We're going to define our burrow here to make sure our basement is included in the burrow space because that's definitely something we want to have going on. We don't want to have people getting stuck not being able to go to the barracks if they need to. 
and like so we can fill it in it's unfortunate that it is like a kind of uh, zigzaggy shape here it makes it a bit harder for me to burrow allow without having all this space being stuck in there as well and we also need to make sure we do the stairwell too so we come up to here we'll clear out this way there we go allow that space and we'll also need to make sure that it's acceptable all the way up to the rest of the burrow there we go and that should do the trick like so that way people can get downstairs excellent so that's that we can set that to resume again I think that's everything here we wanted I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get my military together and like I said we're gonna do something I've never tried before which is hunt for people around the map you can set things with your military to do uh, to do routes so they'll just automatically patrol a route but I think I'm just going to get them to do it with me here. So we're going to pick all four squads, A, B, C, and D. We're going to tell them to set up um, right out here, let's say. Move there, gents. All four of you are going to get stationed outside, and that way we'll be able to deal with whatever happens to be hiding out here, if there is, in fact, anything hiding out here. If there's not, well, then I'm just crazy, and I'm making my dwarves do some extra work for me, because that's what they do. They're part of our military. It's their job. Everyone else should be heading back into the fortress. Hang on, I didn't set the alert. We're going to tell them to get in the fortress just in case anything does go horribly wrong here. Send them to panic room. That means everyone's going to head inside. That should only cancel fishing jobs, I think. Yeah, looks like it. So our fishermen should come back in. Our military dwarves should all come and chill out outside with their army of babies. You silly, silly people. And that way we should be able to use our army to deal with whatever we might try and find out here. So, once they all start arriving, we'll move en masse. The big thing I don't want to have happen is have like two soldiers get stuck. I want to try and get most of my army together and then I can use them as one big group. Specifically, or rather especially, if I can get things like my archers all together because that way I have a big core of ranged attacks that I can use without having to worry about getting immediately uh, run down. So... Our people are starting to gather out up here. That's pretty good. Most of them are there now. Are more people coming? Some more people are coming. Some went back inside for some reason. That's not very good team players. Where are you guys going? I told you to be stationed out here. If I check the squads menu, squads, they are still told to be stationed out there. What if I tell them to move somewhere else? If I tell A, B, C, and D now to move over... Let's just. I'm just testing out these commands here. I've never really tried these guys, so I guess that's another way to do it. Another way to think about this. It's not just me being paranoid. I'm also testing how the functions work. Oh, oh, there, what? there is an ambush here. Well, that was convenient. How, like, <laughs> there was one. Okay, well, in that case, we can use the giant core of people we have here to just immediately attack them. That's awesome. All right. I guess my intuition was right this time. Set a kill order. We can actually use R to select an area and select all of these guys to be horribly murdered. Like so. That way, everyone... We'll have a kill order on those goblins. We already have four archers and five melee fighters out there. It might not be enough for this, but we're going to do our best anyway. Our archers should be able to help deal with them too. Oh goodness, look at those attacks coming in. People are taking damage. People are taking damage. Hopefully no one dies here. Some of our axe dwarves are taking some serious hits. There's another dead guy. Our axe fighters are taking damage though. Get in there, guys. Where's all of our archers? You guys should have been here to help them. Someone's dying. Oh. I think someone's dead in there. Oh no, you're doing good. You guys have almost got them beaten, actually. Keep fighting, keep fighting. You shouldn't survive this. There's one goblin left. Are there? I think that's all the goblins dead. Yeah! Did you kill them all? Oh, oh, Ryark suffocated. Oh no. How'd that happen? How did you, what? How did you suffocate? Where are you? Do you fall in the water? How did you suffocate? Oh no. Somehow he got killed, I guess. Oh. That's too bad. Our, our people got really bloodied there, though. They might be in trouble. They might need a lot of medical attention now. Look at all them. They're all not doing too well. Are there any other bodies hiding in here of our dwarves? I don't think so. It looks like Ruyark is the only one who went down. As far as I can tell. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. Well, we took out some goblins. It was not an easy battle. Are there any other dwarves hiding in here? No, I don't think so. I think we got them all. 
If we check out our squads menu, the Kill Goblins order is still live though. Are there still someone around here? I don't see them. Oh, hello. Oh, nice. Now the, the caravan arrives. <laughs> nice timing, guys. Right after everyone just murdered everything for you. Well, uh, I feel bad about Ruyark, but I guess there's nothing else we can really do about that. Wow. Alright. Well, that's some dead goblins at the very least. I guess we can tell our squads to cancel their orders. A, B, C, and D. C, thank you. And we can cancel those orders. They can go back in, lick their wounds. Wow. Well, we have one of our first military fighting casualties there. Why didn't more people come, though? We had tons of military dwarves who should have been able to get over there, but apparently not. Now, these guys might not be able to walk, even. They might need some help getting out of here. Hopefully our medical uh, professionals can come and help them out. Well, that might have been really big loss for us. We did lose one of our tin virgins, so we'll have to replace them with a new archer. Huh. I wonder who would be a good replacement for that squad. Let's see, if we take a look at our dwarf therapist. Hmm, that's weird. Connect to dwarf fortress. There we go. Check our military listings. Who can we send over there who's not already in a squad? I'm not sure. Uh, is Billy Johnson in a squad? What does Billy Johnson do as far as work? Billy Johnson does hunting. Okay, Billy Johnson, welcome to the squad. I think I'm going to make sure he's not in anything already, and then we can swap him in. Is Billy Johnson already in a military squad? Oh, these guys lost their names, too. I'm going to have to go back in and fix that. Anytime you kill someone, I think it resets names. So that's no good. Billy Johnson, I don't think he's in a squad yet. Nope, welcome to the Tin Virgins, Billy Johnson. All I have to do is find you in this list, and then you're good to go. Now you should be in here somewhere. Where are you? Where are you? There you are, Billy Johnson. Welcome to the squad. You are now part of the Tin Virgins. Not the most uh, threatening name, but no doubt still a powerful squad. So... Hopefully people come and help our dwarves soon. I don't want them to bleed out or whatever. Like, if we check them, are they in serious pain? Like, are they dying? Check him, his health. Oh, he can't stand, yeah. He can't stand. That's not good. What about you? Are you okay? You have no health problems. Why are you just chilling out there, then? That's strange. What about... Is there anybody else here who's stuck? Ranger Liam? How about you? You can't stand either. You guys got beat up. You lost the ability to stand. Wow, that what a brutal fight. All these guys can't stand anymore. They must have taken... He can't grab things. Okay. And he's dead. Ugh. Sorry, Royark, but you died for a good cause. You saved our fortress, and you also protected the... Oh, hang on. Did something else just happen? No. Okay. You also protected our incoming caravan, because if they had gotten attacked, they would have just turned around and immediately left. You gave your life for the cause, friend. We just need doctors to get over here and help our people. I don't think there's any room... Yeah, no room has been filled up in the... Uh... Oh, I know why. Hang on a second. What we need to do right now is go into our military, go to alerts, and cancel that panic room alert. There we go. That means people can come out and actually help our people, because that means that our doctors and such will be allowed to leave the fortress. Yeah. Then they'll be able to get out there and help haul people back into the hospital. Wow, though, seriously, that was not a nice thing to have happen. Oh, no! The baby bled to death. That is sad. That is really sad. The dwarven baby bled to death. I don't know if I've named them yet, or if that was just a random unnamed baby. But someone has died. Aww. Are you okay, Stukos? You must be pretty sad. Sustained major injuries lately. Oh, new baby is dead. That's sad. Parkerface, your child is dead. Well, these things do happen. It is not a nice place we live. We are dealing with war here, where all manner of terrible things can occur. So hopefully, our doctors will get out here and help these guys now. I can see a bunch of people coming out, so hopefully that's what they're doing, but... Oh, man. Well, we're going to get our trade people over here. We're going to say that a broker is needed. We are going to try and move goods to the depot. We're going to sort by value again, and we're going to bring over some foods as per usual. 
That is the easiest way for us to deal with this. We're probably going to be buying a lot more food as normal anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. But oh man, that is sad. Sad, sad, sad. Hopefully we can get down there before anyone else dies. And they should come, someone come, should come and collect the corpse as well. People are blinking really fast. I think he's bleeding out. I think Sebastian is bleeding out. We can't tell. Hang on, what was that? Treatment. Diagnosis required, crutch required. Hmm. But yeah, people should come and get them. Don't come and collect their items. Come and collect the sick people who are bleeding out on the floor here. You monsters. Why is no one coming to help them? Is he taking the body? Yeah, he's taking the body. Okay, people are starting to come for the people now, as far as I can tell. Not just the items. You monsters! Why is no one coming to help these sick people? <laughs> wow. Cruel, cruel place we live. There we go, our doctors are starting to come out. That's good. And the doctor's coming out. He must be coming out to help someone. I can only imagine that, anyway. Hopefully he's bringing crutches or something. You, you just grabbed someone's clothing. You guys really are evil. Wow. <laughs> they don't care at all about their friends here. Is that son of else? What is this? What is this? Is this is a baby? That's the baby's blood, I think. Yeah, that's the baby. Description. Yeah. Hmm. It can't be, though, because it doesn't have a... A dwarf outline. It would be taken away, I think. I'm not sure. Hmm. Very confusing things here. Very, very confusing. Hopefully people come and get our people before they die, though. Last thing we want to have is for our dwarves to get killed just because nobody comes to bother and give them medical attention. If we check downstairs, though, there is one person in the medical tent so far. Two people? Two people in the medical tent so far, so they should get some kind of medical attention here. So that's good. But yeah, in the military is generally not something I have a whole lot of experience with, so I'm, this might happen a lot. Look at all these plump helmet warnings! Jeez. <laughs> Sheesh. Anyway, people are starting to arrive so that we can do the caravan stuff soon. That's good. Hopefully someone comes and helps our dying dwarves soon. Stop grabbing the stuff. Come get the dwarves. You monsters. Wow. They do not care about the dying dwarves. Some slowly they're getting brought in, so that's good. But not fast enough for my liking. If we check out down in the in the hospital, there's still only one dwarf in there. Well. Well, we can see what happens to them soon. Hopefully they'll all survive, but uh, we've already lost two people, two dwarves in that horrible atrocity. Hopefully we don't lose any more. Jeez. Well, on the plus side, my theory was correct. <laughs> Ugh. And that's why we need a bigger army. Having more people there, we would have been able to deal with that invasion pretty safely, I think. Especially if we had more archers. But as it was, that did not go as planned. Not at all. So. Blech. We have more ca more chests we can lay down in the basement, da rather than the bedrooms downstairs, and see how that works. There we go. People are now starting to bring our, our injured down into the hospital. So that's good. They're getting there. They're getting there, slowly. Is that an abandoned baby? No, the person, the parent's still there, too. Okay, good. Rez, did you take damage, too? Yeah, you can't stand. What about your baby? Did it take damage? It has no health problems. Okay, the baby's fine. So that's good. Ajvez is not in trouble, but Rez is in trouble. Man, that was a mess. The problem with archers is they can shoot you even while you're fighting other people. So from a uh, getting out of the battle with low numbers of injuries standpoint, they're probably the worst thing you can have to fight. Anything with ranged attacks, anyway. Man. Well, that's a thing that happened. Hopefully we can get some nice trades out of these guys. Trade. All right. What can we get from you, and is it worth all of the deaths we've f suffered? Of course, it would have happened anyway. Just uh, having these guys around wouldn't save everyone, but uh, let's we'll see what we can get out of them. There's lots of gems and iron as normal. Lots of stone blocks, but we don't really need any of these. Crystal glass and things we can make ourselves now with our sand. Lots of clay we don't need. Some wood. I always take wood. I have nothing against having lots of wood. There we go. 
nice and cheap too. Some ropes and things we don't really need. Flasks, water satchels, don't need those. Instruments, don't need those. Hmm. What else could we get? There's cages. Some animal cages we could pick up. I'll just buy some of these anyway, the cheap ones. Horses, don't need those. Tin cage, boar, don't need that either. Copper, tin, copper. There are more dogs. I might get a couple more dogs just to make sure we have a decent supply. Especially because those are also pretty cheap as far as animals go. Um, some barrels. I'll definitely buy some barrels. Especially ones that have animals' blood in them because that's something we can use. Dwarven beer. Awesome. Blood, blood, blood. Blood, blood, beer, wine. This is really expensive wine, too. I think it's because I asked them to bring it, perhaps, last time, and they're now overcharging for it. Which is unfortunate, because I'm probably going to pay most of what they want anyway, but now it's extra expensive. Yeah. All the alcohol seems to be quite expensive. Oh, well. We'll buy that. We'll also buy ourselves nothing else at the moment. We're going to give them two barrels of food in exchange. Trade. Excellent. Now we need to scroll back to where we were. I believe that was up quite a ways, because we were up here previously. There's the buckets, there's the picks, excellent. Can I buy an anvil from you? Do you did you bring one? Because that, that would speed up our process quite a bit, then I could cancel the orders for building them I've already got. This is all weaponry and whatnot, don't need that stuff. At least not as far as I can tell right now, I can just make it all myself out of iron. Um, all armor again, I'm just making it myself, so I don't need to buy it. I'll skip through that stuff. Lots of armor bags. Ah, here we go, here we go. Food. Exactly what we were looking for. So, we need to find the... Oh, no. Sandbags. Hmm. Where are you? Bags full of plump helmet spawn. There's lots of bags here, but nothing we need yet. They should have tons of plump helmet spawn, though. I'm not sure why we can't find any of it. Don't need the chests or the other seeds. I just need... The, I guess it's down below all the cloth, so I don't know why I was looking for it up there, but we'll find out. We're going to come down, 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 all to a bajillion cloths. I might buy some of this cloth anyway, just to try and make clothes out of it, but uh, I'm not going to worry about it for now. We'll come back for that after. Because um, I would like to try and make some clothes of my own, just to see how that goes. But for now, let's skip through it. There's so much, too. All right, that's all bolts and random bits of crafting things, which you don't need to pay for. Uh, this looks like it's all gemstones. There's some anvils. Awesome. I'll buy an iron anvil and another iron anvil off you. That saves me having to make them myself. And here's the food. Awesome. Now we can buy a bazillion food. This is perfect. This is going to take up a lot of space. <laughs> there we go. Come on now. Where are all of the plump helmets? Because even if we can't buy plump helmets spawn particularly, if we use the plump helmets for brewing, I think we can get the spawn from them that way. And that way we'll still be able to access those things. Wolverine meat. Chicken meat. Wolf intestines. Horse brains. And then we're onto the fish, which are slightly more expensive. Then we'll be onto the cheeses after that, which are even more expensive, no doubt. There's a lot of fish here. Interesting. We'll be able to satisfy many people's desire for seafood with this. There's a lot of them, wow. They brought a lot of food for us, which is good. I love buying food from these guys. Not that we're really low on food at all, but especially since food is such a valuable thing with all these lavish meals. Yay, plump helmets! This is exactly what we wanted. We'll definitely buy every plump helmet they can possibly give to us, and hopefully turn them all into spawns so we can have a humongous supply. There we go, more plump helmets. Look at this, this is wonderful. Look at all those plump helmets we can turn into spawn. Oh, missed one. There we go. Yeah! That should make people happy for a while. Um, this is all just thread and yarn. Don't think we need any of that stuff right now. More armor. Backpacks and quivers. Don't need that. The trap components. There's the cheeses. Cheeses are expensive. Wow. Maybe I'll buy a couple of them, but not too many, since they are really pricey and they add up quick. And I'll buy... Mm, that many. That should be enough. Buy a reindeer cheese, too. And look how much cheese they have. Cheese. Cheese, rather. All right. Well, I'll give them some stuff for that. Give them some of these lovely prepared food barrels. Make sure they're making a decent profit there. That should do it. We'll trade that. Done. 
They should be quite happy with us now. We're also going to go back down to the bottom and buy ourselves some crutches, because evidently we're going to need some of those soon. There's some cru No, not the expensive ones. Buy the cheap crutches. I could just make them, because I've got plenty of these things myself. But I'm just going to buy them to make sure I have them now immediately when I need them and people aren't running around looking for them. Some splints. There we go. So that should be good. Now we're going to give them... Uh, I should probably try and buy something else for them so I'm not giving them such a huge profit margin on this because I'm going to give them some free stuff in a second anyway. Uh, can we get... I could buy some steel from them, but steel's pretty expensive looking. How expensive is it? 150. Okay, I thought it might be more than that because it was just over one space. I thought it might have been 1,500, which would be ridiculous. But no, it's not that bad. We could try and buy some of these gems as well if we want them, or blocks. Not that we really need blocks at all. Uh, it's hard to really say how I want to spend this money. I am going to be giving them a touch of free stuff anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, I'll, I'll buy some of the cloth stuff that I wanted. Right. We'll get down to the cloth section, the enormous cloth section, and then we can buy some of that, get some clothes that way, or at least try and make some clothes and see how that goes. Make some cloth, some silk. That one's expensive. No, thank you. The cheaper ones are definitely what I'm looking for here. Some leather. Good. Some expensive cloth. It's all silks again. No, thank you. I will take the leathers, though, because they're nice and cheap. I don't need fancy things right now. I just want things that I can use. Excellent. Cloth bin. That's an expensive one. Again, it's all silks. Silks are evidently more valuable. We can try and gather some of that down below, which will be good, because we have those spiders, uh, spider webs we found. Okay, and we'll buy that one. And that means we should be able to give them... Oh, no, we'll cancel that one out. Don't want that one. That way we should be able to give them this, and they should accept the trade. Oh, no, apparently not. Consider the offer. They want a huge amount of profit. Whatever, I'll just give it to them. And I'm going to now offer them about $5,000 worth of free stuff. Now this, if we just offer it to them with O, we should get them to be quite happy with us. I believe this is what we need to do. Hit O for offer. I can't do that? Why not? Hmm. That's strange. Why can't I... Oh, there we go. It's because I had already marked it as trading. So if we just offer this to them, this should be fine, because this should be how we get those... If we check here at our nobles menu, becoming the capital, we need to have offerings of 500. If we just give them 500, we should become the capital. Now, that does mean we're going to have to deal with having a king... <laughs> But I think it'll be interesting to experiment with, so why not try it? We're going to come in here, we're going to trade with them, we're going to offer them some of our food barrels. We're going to hit... Uh, let's get some good ones. I'll give them this nice high quality one. Offer marked. What do we offer? Ah, okay, you hit O to start the offer, and you pick the things you want to choose exactly what you're offering. If we pick this one, does that mark us up to 5,000? Perfect. And we will say... Is that how we do it now? I think so. Offer. How do I... Hmm. It's not letting me do it now. How do... How do you mark it, then? I'm confused now. Very confused now. Because I thought I'd just be able to p pick them and then offer them that way, like this. Just pick it and then hit O to offer it. Oh, there we go. That worked. And we'll do one more. Can I only do them one at a time? I'm, I'm confused. That was a really valuable one, too, which is why I picked it. So now I only have to give one other one. Pick that. Offer. There we go. So that should make them very happy. That should mean that if we check out our nobility list, coming to capital... Uh... Huh. Maybe they have to bring it there first. I'm not sure. We've, we've experimented with it. We'll find out later on what happened exactly. But that should do that for us. Now, our people are still chilling out over here. Hopefully no one's died. Take another quick look through this list. I don't think anyone's died yet. So that should be good. People should be quite happy about all that. We should now be able to come in here and cancel the things I have brought here for trading. Because I don't need all of them anymore. We've already gotten what we needed from these traders. Oop. And now we should be able to also say no trader needed at the depot. There we go. Awesome. Well done, Wolfrey. You are on the ball today, which is great. But yeah... Hopefully, people will actually get our injured soldiers down to the med bay before they all die. What are these guys doing? Let's check them out, actually. That'll be an interesting thing to see as well. What was wrong with them, and what did we have to do to help them? Parkerface, what has your health situation been? Extreme pain, ability to stand, lost. 
No evaluate. He still hasn't been. He's, uh, he still hasn't been diagnosed. Really? What about this guy? He has the right true ribs bone smashed open. He hasn't had any treatment yet. He's just been evaluated. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Maybe that's someone coming to help him there. I'm. Yeah. It looks like he's getting help there. That's good. He might be fine later on. We'll find out. These guys might always need crutches after this. Might have been permanent war injuries, and we need to. Uh, get new people to help them, but it looks like people are coming to pick up our people, which is good. I do not want anyone else to die here. So this should make everyone safe. Now I'm going to check the time on this video, because I actually have no idea how long we've been running here. We got a lot of training done, did some fighting, did a little bit of uh, updating in our buildings, so that'll be good. And... Actually, first I'll build some more of these chests, and then we'll do that. So I want to try and see. It doesn't look like it's made any difference yet. These rooms are still phenomenally messy. <laughs> but I'll try and build some more chests in here first, and then see if they start to change anything. As far as I can tell, though, this is not doing anything like what I might have hoped it would. But we'll see. We'll see. We've got plenty of time to put more in there. There you go. There's a chest. There's a chest. We do have lots of chests now, which is nice, too. So we can place these all pretty much wherever we want and not have to worry about it later. Chest. Doot chest again. It is Yeah, I don't like how many button pushes you have to do to get a chest specifically. There might be a way to control it specifically so you only get some of these items, but I don't know. For now, I'm just going to do it the way I know how it works, and we'll go from there. So we'll stick in the rest of these chests. There's only a couple more as far as I can tell. There you go. And then we can move on. I'll check the time. We'll see if we have any time left to do anything else this episode. I have a feeling, though, we've already been going on a little bit long. We're probably done for now. So... Is there any more chest? No more chests. Okay. Okay. I'm going to check the time on the video, and we'll be right back. Like I suspected, we are, in fact, out of time for this episode. So, thank you very much for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor, with some extra Dwarf Fortress action here for you, fighting off an invading army, taking lots of damage and trying to do some other various events up around in our fortress. Hopefully you have enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on the episode. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>